What's up guys? On today's episode we are going to restore the brake booster, the master cylinder from the Mark 1 Golf. It looks pretty bad but uh, I think we can uh, pull this off and bring it back to life. If you're interested Stay tuned for more. Whoa. Okay, so let's see what we are working with. Um, this has to be sandblasted. The reservoir comes off easily and it will be swapped with another one because this is... Let's see if you can see it. It's uh, damaged a little bit and... I don't like it, so I, w I need to change this one. Um, I think I will um, sandblast it like this, because if I take off uh, the master cylinder from this part, it might... Uh, I, I, I will damage the interior of this one and of this one too. So I think I will sandblast it like this, I, I will cover up the sensitive parts, and uh, that's kind of it. I've got a repair kit for the master cylinder, so I will rebuild this. But first I want to clean it, paint it and all of that. And after that I will replace the internals of it. So let's plug up all the holes that we need, uh, that we don't want to sandblast. These two uh, sensors, I will leave them here so I don't damage the internal threads and also we need to sandblast these two mounting brackets which are in a pretty uh, bad shape as well Also, this brand is uh, called, here it is, it's called Fog with an A. I don't want to be red flagged or something, but yeah, I didn't, I, I think they did not uh, know the meaning of this word when the, when the company was started, so yeah. But a really good brand though. So here are the sandblasted parts, really nice. I'm sorry for the noise, but I have an electric heater, so I don't die of cold. Turned out pretty nice. Um, it works really good, this little Parkside sandblasting pistol. It's a mess every time I use it, but I use it outside and I don't care. Here is the 
master cylinder and here is the brake booster it cleaned up really nicely okie dokie so the next thing I will disassemble the master cylinder and um, clean it a little bit more prep it for paint and paint it so this one and these two parts will be black and the booster will be painted in silver so yeah it should look nice Doki, so the booster is prepared. I will put it in the oven to warm it up so any contaminants should burn away and make it really really dry. And I will do this separately because I will be using uh, spray cans to do it because this will be silver and the cylinder and the mounting parts will be um, black. So I will do this separately. We'll leave it there until it reaches the temperature and after that I will spray paint it. Great success! Okie dokie, so I heated these up, they are nice, nice and warm and I will spray paint them with the gun. The paint is prepared, I'm waiting a couple of minutes for them to really cool down and I will paint them. And I'm really sorry for the amazing mess that I created here and, and aesthetically it looks pretty shite, but uh, this is life, I work with, with what I've got and that's it. Stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe. They turned out really well, no runs, nice coverage and believe it or not uh, this is from the donor mark one and I will just need to change the cap but other than that it's the same as uh, this head and I cleaned it up with some dish soap and degreaser and it looks really nice. The only problem is that also this one here uh, it has some scuffs in the plastic but it looks way more 
uh, presentable than the other one so yeah you can I, I didn't find here locally or on auto dock replacement um, but this should do it at least it's the original one and the master cylinder looks really well and the brake booster as well in a silver and it has three coats of clear coat and I also polished the little sander units with the same technique that I used on the uh, radiator I don't know if they work but we shall see when the car gets put back together okie dokie and uh, here are the replacement parts for the inside of the master cylinder. So, this is next. Let's assemble it. today's episode guys hope you enjoyed it it took around two full days of work to complete it the paint turned out really nice I finally managed to paint with the compressed air so doesn't so the paint doesn't uh, drip uh, run and it came out really nice really evenly the black parts have four coats and the booster which I painted with a spray can has three layers of uh, primer, three layers of paint and three layers of um, clear coat. So yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to subscribe, 
and like the video because it helps a lot with the algorithm and in the future I will be restoring the alternator so so that's it for today's episode see you in the next one guys take care Thank you.